Hey class, I'm back. This is going to be session number two. Uh, the other day I gave you a little lecture. I'm going to give my lecture at the end today and because I rushed through those exercises the other day, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So today we're going to start with the movement phase and the other day for review we started on our backs and we did the warm-ups on the back today. We're going to go on the stomach. These are your mandatories for today. And then I'll give you your little lecture and uh, we'll call it session number two. So today we're going to go on our stomachs. See, we're on our back, now we're going to go on our stomach. Okay. I'm going to start out nice long here like this. This is one of my very favorites, as I've told you many times. We're going to do half cobra. Cobra, uh, half locust, locust, half bow, full bow. Those are your mandatories for this week. Here comes Gonzo. Anyhow, here we go. Let's start with the hands in. Rest in the forehead on the uh, hands. This is yoga style. Nice deep breath, big exhale. Head and shoulders come up. First 10 seconds, the easy phase of the stretch. Then you stretch for another 10 or 20 seconds, whatever you like. Press up into the full cobra. Big exhale, always the big exhale. That's good for all you little nerds that are looking at your phones and your computers and stuff like that, especially that half cobra. So now we're going to do it again and I'll show you the advanced positions. I know this is review for most of you, but it'll be a little more coherent when I go slowly. So we're going to do that. Here we go. Half Cobra. Push on up. Advanced position, I'm going to look around to the left. Moving, hopefully, gracefully. Exhale back to center. Take a nice breath. Let's look around to the other side because we want balance. Exhale back to center and relax. Big exhale. Now then, let's go to the locust. That have, oh, don't forget, in the real cobra you stick your tongue out. You've got to do that. If the yoga guys will get really mad if you don't do that. Okay, here we go. Half locust. I can put my hands up here. My forehead rests on the mat or it's in my case this tasteful rug rest my forehead here let's get rid of these guys for now gotta have them big exhale inhale and left side reaching back stretch stretch oh that feels good opening the hip flexors from sitting down too much relax back down Big exhale, inhale, exhale, other side. Relax, back down, big exhale. Now then, the full locust, and I've seen this done a couple different ways. One is with the hands flat and the other is with the fists. I like the fists. My head is pressing in here for leverage. My forehead is pressing down. My hands are at the sides. You can go here or here. And then exhale up both legs, stretching back, squeezing the biscuits.
stretch, 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 and relax. Big exhale. Feels good. Now then, half bow, other half bow, full bow. Here we go. Left leg comes up and comes back. I like the point of my chin on the ground at this point. I'm lifting that knee up off the ground, getting a quadricep stretch. First 10 seconds easy and then stretch. A good stretch feels good and it's easy to hold. Relax. You get that little relaxation sensation there. You can feel the body relaxing. It's, the human body works best when relaxed. Let's go other side. And relax. Now we'll go for the full bow. We're going to go for both hands. Get the knees up off the ground, stretching the quads, squeeze them back here. Get the chest and chin up off the ground. And many of you in my class have been far better at this than I am, but I'm going to do it anyway. and relax. Big exhale. I'll show you a variation because the title of the class is Yoga Pilates Fusion. But here's what we're going to do now. We are going to do the Pilates style does it a little differently. But they have something I like in there. Oh my God. Hands are at the side. Remember, farther out is easier, farther back is harder. Set those down. They don't go to the half cobra, which I like the half cobra because it, it really helps for the uh, computer stretches. But we're going to come up here. It looks very similar, but the thing I like about the Pilates style is they drop their head and rotate the neck. A little variation, and if that isn't fusion, I don't know what is. Of course, we're going to go both directions. You've seen us do it before many times. And relax. Big exhale. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do for our mandatories today. That's all I'm going to give you. Now what I would say is, hi Mo, that's a little Mo, and you saw Gonzo, those are my guys. Anyhow, um, I want to tell you that that's not the only exercises you're going to do. I want you to add the on your backs ones that we did, which I went very quickly through, but I was trying to lecture more. I'm not going to lecture that much today, but I do want to tell you a few things. One, I've, this class is kind of forming in my brain as I go. That's kind of scary. Basically, I want to go stomach, back, then I will do sta seated, standing, and then at the end we're going to flow all these together. So you'll end up with a little half an hour workout. My main purpose being to get all the body parts. I told you I teach these stretching classes, yoga, Pilates type classes, a little differently. I'm looking for overall balance of the body. I want you to do all the things. So now you can do the other. We've done several exercises. So basically you can uh, do more of that. And again, the stretching, I like you to have you do it all the day. In addition to that, it's the same kind of deal. Light stretching. Stretching, Pilates, yoga, whatever you like. 
strength work, push-ups, abs. Remember the abs have to be both frontal and rotational because of the muscle groups, the abdominal band, and the squats without weights, things of that nature for the legs. So you break the body into those three parts. That's your assignment for today. And I've been working on, as I know a lot of you guys love my little field trips, and I got a few more field trips planned for you in the future. You have to stay with me for the whole seven or eight weeks. In fact, I might do a couple weeks because I'm kind of having fun doing this too, to be honest with you. Basically, what I want you to do is get yourself that half an hour workout plus that and get some cardio. Got to get some cardio. We'll have a whole cardio day uh, in this thing. We're going to tie all this together over the next seven weeks. And remember, exercise is movement movement is exercise. No matter what you're doing, whether you look good at it, whether you do it, get out and move your little bodies around, okay? You're young and strong, stay healthy, all that, okay? I like uh, what Gavin Newsom said, he said physical distancing as opposed to social distancing, because we're pretty social. But keep your distance for a while. The next two weeks are going to be really tough, they say. So be very disciplined. The discipline is very important. And I like to see you get into the habit of doing this every day. Stretch throughout the day. Get 20 minutes of cardio. Get some strength work. Um, I'll be back with number three coming up. Probably do them seated next time. Uh, like I say, enjoy this. It's Big People Recess. Have some fun. Relax. Oh, and you're breathing today. I want to give you one more to finish on. Uh, the breathing, of course, is mandatory too, uh, but we like to do that at the end of our exercise session. So today we're going to go in a variation of the anxiety breath, which is the yoga perfect breath. So we're deep breathing. I'll talk you through that. And again, you can do the lying position, you can do seated position, whatever makes you feel good. Okay, because it's about feeling good. So here's the breath for the day. I like this corpse position. Squeeze the scapula together, tilt the head back, get an airway. Relax, tighten everything up, and then let it go. If you need a prop, one hand chest, one hand stomach. Chest hand still, stomach hand moves. The Pilates guys also tell you to think of it going out sideways, the lateral breathing. You want to fill that whole body cavity with air. We're going for longer breaths today. So what you're going to do is always start with an exhalation. Big exhale, belly button towards the floor, although I have no floor. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale, nose. We breathe through the nose for relaxation, through the mouth and nose for energy. Oh, that sun feels good. Summer's coming. All right, guys. It's on you now. Get that 30 minutes a day. So I'm going to do this one too because I like it. That's a preview for next week. We're going with these guys. So basically, remember, balance. Key to everything. Right amount of sleep. Right amount of food. Right amount of exercise or work. Okay? Um, that's all I got for today, but this is going to be a fun class. I can't wait to do number three. So we'll be doing that. I'm going to shoot them out to you one a week, and if I get a little bored I might do a couple of weeks so keep your eyes peeled on your email and um, I'll see you soon I miss you all though I still like doing it in person because now you guys can't laugh at my jokes and that makes me okay big exhale see you soon